so you will have one of the most moistest. Sorry. <laughs> You're so good. Not even moist, just moistest is like even worse. Hi, I'm Amelia and welcome back to Ramp It Up, where we take an ingredient you might have in your kitchen and show you two ways to level it up at home. Mm. Mm. Welcome to Ramp It Up. Today we're cooking in my kitchen and today we're gonna to use an ingredient that I love to prepare for my family all the time in all sorts of different ways. We're gonna be working with a whole fish and we're gonna be salt baking the whole fish. I'm gonna mix up some aromatics and I'm gonna completely enclose the fish in a cave of salt. When it's revealed, which is beautiful and dramatic, it will be a tender, moist piece of fish that you're, it's gonna knock your socks off. So before we begin, we're gonna talk about salt and why I use certain salts over other salts. So for this specific recipe, we're gonna use Morton's Kosher Course. The reason why I chose this salt is because it's a little bit of a thicker, coarser grain. See how those granules are quite large? I think that for this technique is a little bit better because of the mess involved at the end. You'll have more mess if you use a finer salt because once you start breaking the salt cave, it's gonna start kind of like going everywhere. Here is what the diamond crystal looks like. As you can see, it's a finer granule. You can either mix the salt with water or eggs. I recommend using water if you're using a coarser salt, but I recommend using egg whites if you're using a finer salt. The egg whites will help bind the finer granules together. It will keep the mess down. Um, it's just a, a nicer, more controlled way to remove the salt, and that's why we choose the kosher course over the, the diamond crystal in this technique. We're gonna start with cutting our aromatics. So I'm gonna take the stems off the cilantro. You could use the leaves, but the stems have so much flavor. And we're gonna finely chop these stems, super fine, because it's gonna be mixed in with the salt mixture. Finely chopped. Next, we will take a piece of lemongrass. So you're gonna very finely slice it. I love lemongrass. Oh. I love it so much. It's a very uh, hearty ingredient. So as you can hear when I'm cutting, there's it's really fibrous. Finally chop that. What's the inspiration for this dish? I guess I, the inspiration for this dish was holiday season. Uh, like, I don't like really celebrate Feast of the Seven Fishes, but I thought, oh, it'd be cool to like throw in a fish element on Christmas Eve. Also, my husband is pescatarian, so I'm always trying to like make the best fish possible for him. Now we're gonna put some ginger. We're gonna slice the ginger for some of the pieces and just kind of like crush them to release the aromatics a bit. These pieces are gonna get stuffed into the fish, and then I'm gonna finely chop the rest of the ginger. The finer, the better. Last but not least, we have to zest the lime. And you just do it right over the bowl. So we have our aromatics in the bowl. We have three whole pounds of salt. I know it sounds like a lot, but I promise you the payoff is very worth it. Pour it in. I've poured the salt, the aromatics are in the bowl, and basically we're just gonna stir it all until it's evenly mixed. So you want, a all the aromatics evenly mixed throughout the salt mixture. Now I'm gonna add a half cup of water and we're just gonna wanna like drizzle that evenly, mix it up. The pieces of salt are getting a little bit more chunky and they're just kind of starting to bind a little bit and that's what you're looking for. You wanna try to make sure that you kind of touch that moisture on as much of the mixture as possible. I'm gonna pour about two cups of this mixture right here in the middle of the pan, so. And I'm starting this because it's the bed. It's the bed of the salt mixture. And I'm gonna look at the shape of my fish. This is gonna vary. This is about what, maybe a three pound fish. So just kind of like shape it shape it to what the body of the fish looks like. So before we place the fish on there, 
It's going to dab it dry with the paper towel. Sometimes when you order the fish, it already comes pre-trimmed. But if you didn't have a pre-trimmed fish, then you would want to trim off the fins and trim off the tail. And there's usually some fins off the top. You'll want to trim those off too. And we're going to place the fish right on top. And now I'm going to stuff the aromatics in the fish. So I'm going to take the ginger from before. I'm going to spread it out into the cavity of the fish here. I've got that lemongrass. We're going to place that in there as well. I'm going to slice some limes. And then I'm going to stuff the fish with the lime. We're going to take a little bit of sprig of cilantro. We're going to just put it inside the cavity as well. And now we're going to make a cave. So let's just start here. And then we'll do a little edge here. And then we're just going to start like patting it in. So start little by little. You don't want to like dump the whole bowl of salt. That's a mess. The reason why you would you want to enclose the fish completely is because once the steam starts releasing during the bake, it's going to like solidify the cave. So once you've solidified the cave, it traps all the moisture and all of the moisture and aromatics get trapped in the cave and, and steam the fish from the inside of the cave. You assume that it's like, like, why are we using so much salt? But when you taste the end product, you understand why this technique is so special. Our fish is enclosed in this salt mixture. Um, I've made sure there are no cracks or visible fish hanging out. Now it's time to bake. We're gonna bake this at 400 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes or when the internal temperature of the fish is 135. So here we go. Salt. Fish in the oven. 30 minutes. So we'll see you back then. As you can see, it's golden around the edges here. You can smell all of the delicious aromas coming off of the sheet tray. What's great about this dish is the reveal. And for me, it feels like I'm an archeologist a little bit. Like I'm Indiana Jones, I'm excavating my fossil. I found the lost ark. I like to bring a little mallet in. I use this as like to hammer it in, but you'll also need a dry brush, dry brush, not a wet brush. You're setting your salt baked fish in front of your table full of people and you just want to give a little extra drama like. Huh? So you want to start like brushing away any kind of loose salt, but then you can like use your spoon to lift off the pieces and then you brush. You want to make sure you're brushing that salt away. So, and then here's your fish. He smells really good. And everybody is like, ooh, ah, oh, it smells so good. Look at the fish, it's so pretty. But it really is a really pretty dish to make and it tastes pretty too. I'm not precious about serving it. I don't pull off fillets, I don't slice it. I just tell everyone to just dig in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dig right in and I'm just gonna start doing what we do, which is like pulling off big chunks. Mmm, mmm. Every single time I get scared that I'm gonna overcook it, I'm gonna undercook it, but I never ever do. And I'm always also afraid that it's gonna be over seasoned, but it never is over seasoned. So if you're scared, it's gonna to be too salty. I just took a bite with the skin and I'm telling you, it's not salty at all. It's like, I could even add salt if I wanted to, but I don't need to because it's perfectly salty. Full of flavor of the aromatics. I can taste those coming through. You have a perfectly cooked very delicious, show-stopping, very elegant fish for everybody to enjoy. They enjoy it from the visuals to the flavor. You know the drill, make it. Tell me you made it, comment, like, subscribe, come back, watch the show again, and let me know what you'd like me to make in another episode and maybe we'll do it. Hey guys, Amelia here from Ramp It Up. Did you like this video? Then make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more. Stop the show because it's show stopping. Should we just like 
cut right then. Just like cut. It's show stopping. Boom. And that's it. 